All right. So our first order of business for the on the agenda is the approval of meetings from the last minutes from the last meeting in September. Does anybody have any comments or corrections for the minutes? Nope. nope. Good. All right. See all in favor of accepting the minutes? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. <laughs> And then we're into updates and other business. And the only thing I can think to uh, to report is that it, the Ashfield folks are trying to schedule another meeting to talk about the shared conservation agent. So it's nice to see continual continual activity on that front. Um, they've actually distributed some model position description and uh, uh, intertown agreement that might be the starting place for putting together the, all the pieces to make it happen. Um, I don't remember if I reported back from the first meeting that we had up there. Did I? I think you talked about it when we were up at Grass Hill a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. yeah it's they were looking at the price that what it might cost to have an agent and how you might divide that up amongst the towns and maybe like six towns that are interested and so the, there were a variety of suggestions, but the one that seemed the simplest was just to do it proportional to population. So the towns would be contributing their portion uh, and ours would be about 15,000 uh, based on our population. And Williamsburg would be the, the biggest town and Hawley the smallest town uh, that would be in the group. But a lot of the... Uh, representatives from those towns thought that they could get that this could fly and that they could get the funding and they could get it approved and everybody at the meeting seemed reasonable about you know not sort of worried about getting their share right away but just sort of understanding that it'll all come out in the wash over time uh so i'm optimistic that that it might go forward um i forwarded the materials to brian and asked him you know if there was anything that he was concerned about or whether it's something we should raise with the select board or the finance committee at this stage, I haven't heard back from him yet. Okay. Anyway, that's my, that's my report. Anybody else have any business or questions? Uh, I can, I can just say the, um, with uh, Catherine Walkowitz from the Housing Committee, we, yesterday we went to a tour of um, Sanderson Place um, that was okay. built right off the um, main intersection in Sunderland. And it's a low income mm -hmm. um, um, elderly housing, or not elderly really, over 62, which doesn't sound <laughs> elderly to me. <laughs> um, and, um, and then a presentation by um, somebody from the state and somebody from the uh, the developer that did it and it was um there aren't any decisions to report to you but i learned a lot from that presentation it was very useful just about different ways to do funding and um ways that's worked for other towns uh, in the presentation they showed a bunch of other projects from other towns in massachusetts some similar to waitley some not similar but you can see a lot of different ways to to um put in affordable housing yeah i'm gonna actually get a committee together again what's that i said we might actually get a housing committee together again to do to work on it well we have a housing committee yeah but just they haven't really there are a lot of anything. there are a lot of roadblocks it's really hard in a small town because the the funding that's available from the state requires um a certain volume you know, oh, yep. and, and we're so small that, you know, we need to put in like four units and that's mm -hmm. not feasible for any developer and it yep. doesn't do yep. any state grants <laughs> unless you put in 35 units. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I just, I see it on the, I see it on the CPA, CPA and because part of our CPA funding has to go to that housing bucket. So we're always dealing with that. It's right. Dancing around that issue. Yeah. I think I heard on the news on the ride home today that uh, Governor Healy would, had made some announcement about affordable housing. So oh, yeah. New, new strategies for dealing with it and trying to, you know, make it easier for people to put accessory dwellings on their property and 
there were other aspects, but I got in partway through the, the report, so I didn't get to hear the whole thing. Well, I, I'll have to look that up. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, thank you for that report. I think we may have exhausted all the items on our agenda well before midnight for a change. <laughs> and <laughs> I thank you for coming out so that we can make this meeting official and we'll see what we have on the docket for next month when it comes. Yep. Okay, thank you. Right. Motion to close the meeting. <laughs> Second it. Aye. Bye. All right. Good night. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you Good next night. month.